Praise the Lord, everyone. God is good to you, amen. Today's vlog title is Baptize Not. Some people believe that you don't need baptism. You don't need it to be saved. Someone gave me a verse, you know, who's trying to, you know, say, oh, see, it proves you don't need to be baptized, but let me clarify for you guys. So a person gave me this verse, 1 Corinthians 1 and 17. He said, that's it. And I looked at it and I said, hmm, that's, that's just one verse. But hold on, time out, wait a minute. You have to read all of the verses in context to know what it means. So let me back up. First Corinthians 1 and 1, Paul is writing a letter and sent it to the church of God. So again, he's writing a letter and he sent it to the church of God in Corinth. reads about Thanksgiving. Again, Paul is writing to them about the division that is happening in the church. So here, we'll start explaining from verse 10 all the way down to 17. Again, a person gave me this and just like, here you go, see, we don't need to be baptized. And I said, oh, hold on a minute. Let's see what he really wrote in the letter to the church in Corinth. It says, Now, I beseech you, meaning he's begging, I'm pleading, I'm warning, okay? Brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. He didn't say the name of Jehovah. He said, at the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, it's connected to the church. That ye all speak the same thing. Meaning that you're all in agreement. Right? We're all the church of God. We need to have, speak and believe the same thing. Have the same mind. And that there be no division among you. That's not what God wants. God wants us to agree. One family. One body. Right? That ye be perfectly... Right? So perfectly itself, when it's spoken, has different meanings. So same as the, the, the word right has several different signs, correct? You hear the same word right, but you see different signs. So this meaning is complete, completely. Okay, so perfectly in this sentence, meaning completely joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. Right? We're all in agreement. There's no argument, no division. Paul, again, he's writing to the church, pleading them about this. He's saying, you know, don't divide. We don't want that. God doesn't want that. That's not God's plan. So 
Paul again. He's writing the letter. So how does he know? It says, For it hath been declared unto me of you, my brethren, by them which are of the house of Chloe, that there are contentions among you. Meaning you're arguing or you're And you're going against each other. You're having debates and arguments. So Paul says, it has been given to me and made known. Now this I say. Okay, again, he's holding, he's, he's writing his letter. He says, this I say. That every one of you say it. I am of Paul. Another group says, no, I am of Apollos. It's in the book of uh, Acts, I believe, is it Jewish? Okay, he became an apostle, very powerful preacher. It says, and I of Apollos. And I of Cephas. scripture. John 1 and 42. Say, no, I'm connected to Cephas or Peter. And another group says, I'm of Christ. It was really silly. Someone's like Paul or Apollos or Cephas or Christ, and they're all trying to get against each other. And Paul is, is writing to them saying, that's enough, that's enough. And he says, is Christ divided? He's saying, did Christ cause you to divide? Is that what his will is? Was Paul crucified for you? Did Paul die for you? Did Paul forgive your sins? No. Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? It's very interesting.
So Paul knew what name held importance. And so he's using himself as an example here, asking if they were baptized in, in his name. He knew the name Jesus was very important. And he knew that they would all agree that no, I wasn't named or baptized in the name of Paul. They knew they were baptized in the name of Jesus, which was very important. So Paul is making a point here by asking these questions as, did I do these things for you? So why are you saying you're a group of me? And Paul said, I thank God that I baptized none of you. Cyprus and Gaius. So again, he could have been speaking, we don't know the exact number, but say 200, 200 people. He's saying, I baptize none of you except these two men. At least any should say that I had Baptized in my own name. So again, Paul is trying to tell them that they shouldn't be saying that they're a group of his because he did not baptize them in his name. He baptized in the name of Jesus. And he said, I baptized also the household of Stephanias. Beside, I know not whether I baptized any other. Okay, talk about Stephanias and his family. And the word household is talking about his full family. And Paul says, you're, you're right. I remember I baptized also the full family of Stephanias. And besides, I know whether I bat not whether I baptize any other. Again, Paul is Paul is reflecting back on, on who he is baptized. He's saying maybe some of you were baptized by Peter in the name of Jesus. Or some baptized by Apollos in the name of Jesus. And Paul says, For Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel. He's saying, God called me to give you the gospel. Again, I've been in church for about 20 years, and I've seen several times to where, you know, we're in church and someone wants to be baptized, and the, the pastor is having to preach, or, and so he calls another minister or a man of God to go and baptize that person in the name of Jesus, because he knows it's not all about him. He knows that it's not how many he baptizes or who he baptizes and things like that. He knows it's the importance of the Jesus name, baptism. 
So again, maybe Paul did baptize some. Paul was blinded by God. And he said, Lord Jehovah, is that you? And he said, I am Jesus. Who art thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus. And immediately there fell from his eyes as it had been scales. And he received sight forthwith and arose and was baptized. Paul was baptized in the name of what? Jesus, obviously. Ananias baptized Paul. Ananias didn't have a big spirit about himself saying, you know, I'm saving these people, I'm baptizing. No, he set himself aside and knew it was important about God. So again, we're seeing that Paul says, for Christ sent me not to baptize. Paul preached the gospel, and we hear about John the Baptist. Not with wisdom of words, you know, that he's so smooth and, and wise. It's the same as some people will vlog and just give you you know, their opinion without showing the scriptures to back them up. Kind of like saying, you know, I don't need Jesus. It's them without the word. That's why I always prefer to put the word behind me so you can see it. Right? These words and the wisdom is from God. So here he's not meaning that you don't need to be baptized. He's just saying that I myself was sent to preach the gospel. I love you and I hope you find a church. Not just any church, but the church. An apostolic, Pentecostal church. That preaches Jesus. That preaches salvation. That you can get the Holy Ghost and resist the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you.